So I'm back on the road. Bro, I almost forgot to close out my damn, damn curtains. I don't want no peeping Toms in my truck. When you're applying online at primeinc.com on your application, make sure when it asks you where you refer to by an active prime driver, make sure to click on yes. The box below that, make sure to put my driver code, Strexa. Now let's do some trucking. So good to see y'all again. So I, obviously I'm inside my truck. I, let's see here, I'm trying to, it's connected to my Wi-Fi right now. I just set up, I just, every time I shut down, I, I plug in my internet box. So I just plugged up uh, my internet box here in my truck and make sure y'all can see me. My truck's kind of dirty here. Uh, all right, so let me pull up. Right now I am currently, oh, there's no spots here. I'll put this here up on the screen for you. So I'm currently in Edwardsville, Illinois at this uh, rest area off I-55 uh, northbound. So I am 55 minutes away from where I need to grab some fuel. I'm gonna be grabbing some fuel. Let's see here. I gotta grab some fuel in Divernon, Illinois, which is uh, 55, uh, 55 minutes away from here. I could put that on the screen for you too. So I was gonna get fuel there. I was gonna make it there tonight and get fuel, but I mean, I was getting kind of tired. I'm about to make me a bowl of cereal. So, and uh, I haven't put my milk in yet cause I don't want it to get soggy. I shut down earlier cause I'm feeling tired. And the other reason is I'll put this now up on the screen for you. So every day, uh, is it on here? I think I did save save that on here as a screenshot. So every day Prime sends uh, all the drivers uh, messages on their message board on the Prime app. So tomorrow or at midnight, the fuel prices is gonna decrease by 10 cents. So if you get 100 gallons at a 10 cent difference, that's 10 bucks. So if I kept driving to Divernon, Illinois tonight, right? I would get there at 11.07 p.m. The fuel wouldn't decrease for another hour. So why drive? Cause right now it's 10, 10 07 at night. Why drive there, right? Get all the way there, have to wait an hour to fill up to get the 10 cents cheaper and possibly get no parking spot. Cause when I pulled into this rest bound, uh, this, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> when I pulled into this rest area, basically at 9.50 at night, there was three spots left. Well, after I took, so there was four, then I took this spot. So there was three spots left after I parked. So a lot of times you don't really get so lucky uh, driving that late. It really just depends on the area as far as truck parking goes. So anyways, so yeah, I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be shutting down. I wanna thank everybody who follows me, watches my channel, you know, loves to see my success you know loves to see the challenges that i do in my job and I, I appreciate that so much thank you very much it's been a challenge but a good challenge i guess in a way you know i'm, I'm out here learning with prime uh we paid off my wife's uh my wife's car so now uh you know we don't have a car payment anymore on either car so that's a, a really good feeling kind of annoyed with the dmv in um republic because i gave them the lien release from capital one because that's who we financed the vehicle through and a new lady was working behind the counter with another lady and she hit the wrong button so they sent Sent us the title the same exact title capital one sent us still so it still shows the lien on it but i went back in i'm gonna get it straightened out but anyways it is a good feeling having my wife's mazda uh paid off it, it, the car is like brand new it's 2019 with uh less than 23,000 miles on it and it's loaded so because of trucking and because of prime i was able to pay off my wife's car in 18 months technically we paid it off like five months ago but or four or five months ago and it took them a while to send us the title and the lien release so that was that was not very that was annoying dealing with uh with capital one it's been great man thanks uh again for thanks for all the support definitely appreciate it uh you guys are great it's hard making making content and uh being a truck driver i will tell you that it's uh it takes a lot of my time it's a it's a tough balancing the content uh home time family life but i i, I manage it i manage it but it is uh it, it is tough i will say that oh and i have to change my duty status it looks all trashy up here all my trash bags and my my vest trashy over here man it's like a pigsty in here this is the load that we're running right now. I'm gonna begin some fuel early in the morning. Uh, this load that I'm currently on right now is 702 miles and it pays 
and 55 cents. Is that right? Okay, yep. So the way you can calculate it, if you want to know how much you're getting paid per mile, is we would just take the 1853.55 on our calculator here, and I'll put this here up on the screen for you so that way we can be able to do it together, okay? So I'm gonna open up my uh, calculator app here on my iPhone. I Android have Androids have calculators as well, so we're gonna go right here into the calculator. We're gonna take the 1853.55, right? 1853.55 by the total miles, 702 miles, right? We're gonna divide that by 702 miles. This load is paying us $2.64. So this is a, uh, a good paying load with, way, with the way the rates are right now, 264 per mile, that's pretty solid. That kind of gives you a breakdown, uh, a quick run through. That's how I calculate how much I'm getting per mile. You take the total dollar amount you're getting for you know revenue and fuel. They give you the total amount you're getting. Divide that by how many miles it tells you, breaks you down how many, how much you're getting paid per mile. So again, that's an easy, uh, easy thing for you. It's a way to be able to calculate everything. And now I'm getting hungry. I need to start eating some of this, uh, some of this bowl cereal. Uh, this load, uh, what am I actually? So inside your load, it'll usually tell you uh, what you're delivering. So I'm actually going to be delivering digest and I'm going to be pumping off this at the receiver, uh, which is uh, Mars Pet Care in Toma, Wisconsin. I go there quite a bit. I do not have a pre-plan, so I don't know where I'm going next, uh, but this load's supposed to deliver at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, but that's not gonna happen because I'm still like 454 miles away. I didn't get this uh, load until late afternoon, so about four o'clock, 4 p.m. So yeah, there was no way uh, that I'm gonna be able to deliver this, but that's not my fault. The shipper didn't have this load ready because it was supposed to be picked up at eight o'clock, but it clearly wasn't ready at eight o'clock. It was ready at 4 p.m., so. That's not on me at that point. So I'm gonna eat a bowl of cereal and I'm gonna get some good nighty night sleep sleep. So I stopped at this, um, I stopped at this roadies in Atlanta, Illinois. It's pretty nice in there. They actually got like, um, they got a little pizza hut spot. They have like pizza huts that are made fresh, you know, pizza, pizza and wings and breadsticks. And then they also had a DQ. So I went, I went in there and got me a, uh, what the hell did I just get? I already forgot, man. Oh, a flamethrower double burger from Dairy Queen. I used to work at Dairy Queen a long time ago when I was 16. Uh, in Eastland, Texas. Uh, I got me a burger and then I got me a snickerdoodle a cookie dough blizzard, just a small size. It was actually pretty good. It's really sweet though. You already know, I grabbed me a couple energy drinks because I need some. Damn, that pole is, uh, somebody whacked that pole for sure. Uh, but, uh, so whenever you get a load, Prime will tell you what's called their recommended fuel stop. So yesterday, when I got this load, it wanted me to stop at Circle K in Divernon, Illinois. When I woke up this morning, it switched me. Now it wants me to uh, fill up at a Love's, I think in Roscoe, Roscoe, Illinois. So I can put this up here on the screen for you. It's cheaper than the fuel was yesterday. So you can fuel wherever you want as a lease driver. You can take whatever route you want to get to your destination. You're not forced. Oh, you have to fuel up here. You have to run this freeway. You have to do this, you have to do that. No, you can run your truck however you want. Me personally, I always run pretty much the recommended fuel stops because it's gonna save me money. So at the end of the day, it's all about uh, how much money can you save? How much more money can you put in your pocket? Because I'm all about money. That's the only reason I'm out here doing truck driving. And if I wasn't making good money, or solid money with Prime, I wouldn't still be working for them. But again, you don't have to take, you don't have to stop at the fuel stops Prime recommends, but um, it's about 99% of the time, it's gonna be cheaper than anywhere else. So I follow the fuel recommendations pretty much to the T. Well, it actually doesn't look that bad in my camera right now, but uh, my windshield is actually pretty bad. I, I smacked some bugs pretty good. Yeah, my fuel car, let's grab some fuel. We are here at this, whoops, we're here at this love. So. Always change yourself to on-duty fueling here on your Qualcomm or whatever you know system that you're using. And I turned off my APU so it doesn't fire up. All right, let me stop this navigation and shut off my truck. And where is, do I need to take out? No, my trash is not that bad. Let's grab some fuel here, guys. Do I got everything in my, oh, I need my loves card. It's in my, my little wallet. My wife, uh, my wife got me this little, uh, little cool credit card wallet thing. Pretty, pretty nice, I like it. Oh, here we go. Uh, we're gonna need to slide her right inside super smooth just nice and smooth guys just slide her in like that and my loves card all right so let's put in our truck number i need to get fuel and i need to get gas put our trailer number in mt9875 and now it's going to ask for our trip number which is in our prime app one, four, three. 
0566. No cash advance. I've never done a cash advance. Additional products is gonna be no. Do I want a receipt? Nope, it's all online. We just need to open up that fuel. All right, there we go. There's that side. I don't need to, I thought I was gonna need to clean my windshield, but the rain cleaned it all off. I'm wondering if I should, if I should hit it. Nah, I think we'll be good guys. What I do need to do is I need to adjust these uh, mirrors up more. All right. Yeah, let's try that. Because when I'm sitting inside my truck up there, it's, it's kind of looking down toward the ground. Let's try that. I don't know if that's gonna be any good, but we're gonna try that out. So uh, I've been running my truck at 60 miles an hour, loaded and empty. In the last 3,500 miles, my truck is averaging 10.2 miles to the gallon. So right now it's getting really good fuel mileage. It just finished. I'm gonna top her off a little bit more. Oh, it's raining. Get a little sprinkling on me. I'm gonna melt. All right. Whoops. A little leaky. All right, now we need to put some def in here, guys. There's the fuel. Uh, you know, I think this winter, I think I'm gonna maybe buy a, a heated blanket. Because I remember last winter, there was a couple nights I woke up freezing my butt off. Whew. Yeah, so we just uh, finished getting the def filled up here, guys. And yeah, we're just hanging out right now. Usually, I, like I said, I would have cleaned my, uh, my windshield off, but it started raining really hard uh, here in Illinois. And after my wiper blaze going back and forth for a few times, I got all them bugs out because that rain. So in that sense, I do love it when it rains, when my windshield's dirty, because it pretty much cleans all the bugs out. So uh, I... I don't even know how far I am away from uh, the receiver right now. I think I'm, oh, this finished. Let me put this up. pretty back here on this backcountry road right now just beautiful guys beautiful yeah we love shortcuts guys we love shortcuts for sure see we are uh, 1.9 miles away from the receiver right now it was raining really hard earlier uh, like in Rochelle Illinois but I'm kind of glad it was uh, raining. I didn't have to clean my uh, clean my windshield. Uh, the rain uh, pretty much smacked all them bugs right off. So much for a 10 a.m. appointment. It is 5:07. Uh, 5:07 p.m. Guys, we didn't make the cut. That's all right. It's not our fault. It is not our fault. Uh, the shipper didn't have the load ready at eight in the morning, and instead it was uh, ready at 4 p.m. Not a whole lot of driving you can do uh, starting at 4 p.m. Uh, and try to get a spot to park your truck in for sure. Uh, pretty soon this is going to be all snow. All right, we just got to cross some uh, cross. We just <laughs> we just got to cross some railroad tracks, guys, and then we'll be busting a righty. Here we go, nice and smooth like butter. 
There we go. Oh shoot! They got the uh, they got the whole front entrance all dang. All right. Well, it looks like there's an arrow back here, guys. Look at that. That's where you normally go in at, but we can't go in there. So, so I'm gonna go in here real quick, guys, and get checked in. I had to do a little uh, blindside back. Look how close, guys, I got to that cone right there. I was crazy. This is my first time coming out, but they got some, as you can see, they got construction stuff going on, so. I'm gonna just straighten up my nose a little bit, but yeah, pretty close. I think we're going into that one there. Guys, uh, the first thing you wanna do after you line up your, your truck, wherever you, you're gonna get unloaded at, we need to get back in the truck. First thing we need to do is I have the parking brake pulled out. I need to push the parking brake in and I need to pull the, the red trailer brake out. Sorry, the beeping is from my, uh, belt but what I'm doing is I'm dropping the bags on the on the back end of the trailer so it'll drop like that and when it's dropping it's gonna slowly push my truck a little bit forward once it settles I'll go ahead and pull out the uh, tractor tractor brakes I hope I lined up at the right one they said it was number four so I think I'm lined up at number four bro I forgot to buy puppy pads because I don't know if this pump's gonna leak or not I should have bought puppy pads put those underneath the pumps so if they drip or they leak it'll kind of catch and absorb whatever liquid product that you got canola oil tallow chicken fat whatever so oh well it is what it is i get unloaded right now as y'all can see uh after this I, i'm not sure where i'm going to be getting washed out i think i may be getting washed out in johnson creek there's been some people asking me to do a video at a tank wash to show the full tank washout process. I have asked some of these tank washes. They had no problem with me like filming, but they didn't want me to be where the tanks are at. You know, guys have to wear safety harnesses and go on the top. The water is about 220 degrees coming out, so they don't want nobody to get hurt. Uh, if I go to the one in Johnson Creek, Wisconsin, I do know the owners over there and they did want me to do a video with them. Uh, and they will allow me to record to show you the full process on how a tanker trailer is washed. All right, guys, so it's probably really hard to hear me, but while you're unloading your tanker, you always want to check on your two hydraulic lines to make sure you don't see any hydraulic fluid dripping on off of the fittings. So both of them look good. They look dry. Always keep an eye on them when you're offloading. See, I should have grabbed those puppy pads. Right, guys we're stopping at a rest area and I think it's Milton Wisconsin I believe it is 9 44 p.m. it said that there was a couple spots left here so I got an hour and 15 minutes left on my clock so let's see if we can find a spot I got unloaded uh, my pump was leaking a little bit but it is what it is uh, why is this thing saying no trucks allowed No trucks allowed. That doesn't make sense. Um, oh, dang it. That's an RV. What's right here? Oh, dang it. Another RV. How many spot? Oh, dang. Are we already at the end? No. How much further we got? This still got pretty far. Let's keep going. We got any spots down here guys oh we're getting down here to the nitty-gritty oh i got a bobtail truck bro why are bro why are you parked right there dude bro another bobtail truck come on bro all right here we go here we go we got a spot we got a spot guys Woo. all right i'm gonna shut this down and i'm gonna put on 
Basketball's, basketball's back up and going now. This is the one thing I don't like about pulling tankers. A lot of these uh, customers, nasty dirt, mud, gravel. This is the not so, uh, not so fun part. I gotta finish getting this trailer drop, guys. Yeah, it's just, uh, it's just muddy. The main thing I gotta do is I gotta check these back seals. I gotta get a picture of this back seal and I gotta go up to the top and check the seal there. But I was just coming around here checking everything. Nasty mud. This load, oh, you know what? I should probably pull up. Let me pull up a little bit so that way. Pull up just a little bit, just a little bit. All right, let's pull up. There we go. Let's... Ah. These brakes on this damn thing are squeaking pretty good. Oh, y'all hear that slapping? That's that surge, man. Y'all see that? The brakes down here look pretty good, though. Everything over here looks good. Y'all see that slapping, though? All the brakes look good. Okay, this load, we got to run heat, guys. So, I'm going to show you how to hook up the in-transit heat lines. It said on this load, the drivers must run in-transit heat until it's unloaded. So, we're going to hook up to right into these guys right here. Hopefully, uh... Hopefully everything works on this. We're gonna find out real quick though. <coughs> All right, let me uh, see. Yeah, let me shut this off here. All right, so this is gonna be real fun. I haven't opened this up in a minute. Oh yeah, that's pretty hot. All right, so we're gonna hook our in-transit heat lines into the pipes. One's gonna go in here. This is a female side. We're gonna put the male side in here. Hopefully this all works. And we're gonna put the female side down on there. Oh, <laughs> Woo. Woo wee. All right. I just squirted all over me, guys. All right, be careful whenever you do that. That was kind of funny, but it kind of wasn't funny. All right, so put these. All right, so let's go ahead and get this back way in here. We gotta pull this back. Oh, that stuff just squirted all over me. Okay. Okay, let's see. Open all this stuff up here. Now let's open these back up, guys. So close those. I don't need that one. I think that everything over here is gonna be pretty good. I did squirt all that damn freaking stuff on here. Stupid stuff. Yep, so that's how you get it on there. Well, try not to make a mess. So yeah, so that's it, guys. That's how you hook them up. Freaking got crap all over me. I just took a shower too so pissed off after you uh, hook up your in-transit heat lines you always want to check and make sure that nothing's leaking this is from whenever i sprayed or sprayed it on myself but nothing is uh, actually dripping everything looks pretty good it's not touching on my uh box or anything so my hoses are in good clearance oh i'm so annoyed that i just got i just got that crap all over me i forgot i had those damn uh, valves open i always keep you some uh dude wipes or baby wipes in your in your uh in your truck so that way i can at least uh wipe off my arms and crap i just took a shower today i'm so annoyed and keep your paper towels too so after you wipe your arms you can dry yourself off yeah this is not my favorite shipper to go to guys i do not like coming to this let me get that dog in the out of the middle lane there driver yeah driver you need to get out of the middle lane you know who you're talking to? You're talking to a super trucker. The uh, trucking vehicle come along and says, Pat, you I'm now down yonder acting like a damn dumb. All right, guys, it's a little windy right now. Got my big, got my big boy Jack and my beanie on. It's like 30, 31 degrees right now. I just made it over here to the, uh, to the receiver. They got no room in their tanks. So I ran this load before, uh, the one over here to Atkinson, Kansas. 
and last time they had me drive to another property, unload basically at another plant. I just went and checked in with these guys. They told me I'm gonna have to wait so to find out if I'm gonna be going to this other place or not. So they told me to hang tight for about 20, 30 minutes. So yeah, sorry if it's a little windy. Uh, I still got my in-transit heat lines hooked up, run, running right now to keep the product nice and warm. And it shows you on there, on the temperature gauge, what the temperature is. Bing, bang, 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 bang. Oh, real quick, I wanna tell you. So on the Freightliners, it might be a different box. This is a Webasto, Webasto. That is an eco heater that keeps your in-transit heat lines hot when your truck is shut off. So when I shut down last night, there's a switch on the freight, on the dash. Excuse my truck, it is a, it is a freaking mess. So there's this switch on the freight liners here. At night when you shut down and you shut your truck off, you flip this up, you flip this switch up, it'll light up green. So last night, my eco heater box was keeping the product warm inside the trailer. <laughs> so I'm currently getting unloaded right now and my dispatcher just sent me a message. They want me to bring this down to Springfield Tank Wash once I get empty. I will put this here up on the screen. I am 228 miles away from the tank wash. On the screenshot it says Eco Shred, but Eco Shred is part of Prime East, which is the tank wash Prime Oak in Springfield. Yeah, I'll be deadheading down there, and then I'll put this here up on the screen for you. This is gonna be the next load, the shipper. I think it was at Danville. Yeah, Danville, I think. Let's take a look here. In Danville, Arkansas, and that's going to Heavener, Oklahoma. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not 100% sure, so. Yeah, I guess we'll see. We'll be picking up uh, some chicken chicken fat Monday morning. And Monday night, we'll be uh, getting that delivered to OK Feed Mill. I forgot to show y'all. So since I've been with Prime for two years, they told me to pick up my anniversary gift. Prime, I'll be honest, I was hoping for like five or 10 Gs, but you gotta excuse the mess in my truck. But I'm going home after. All right, so here's, the, here's this jacket. All right, guys, this is a jacket that I got from Prime. And I had them put the trucking with rex it says prime driven by the best or worse i don't know and then it's got this uh two-year accident two-year accident free patch and here is the back because i'm in the tanker division the jacket that i got so it is going to keep me nice and warm it came in handy for today because it got up to 30 or it got down to 31 degrees i'm going to wash my bedding too whenever i get home and i need to clean the inside of my truck just the waiting game so my tanker's uh still getting unloaded i think that they should be done here any minute now and we're actually getting, they're unloading it onto the truck next to me. So one tank to another. <laughs> Felt like something was on my face. There's some more things I need to get for my truck to prepare myself for winter. I need to buy a heated blanket that plugs into the cigarette lighter underneath my bunk, just in case for emergencies. Uh, some more coolant on my truck, some more anti-gel. So that way uh, we're good. All right, guys, we're done. Buckle up and <clears throat> we are going to get out of here. Oh, you know what? I should probably check. You know what, guys? I forgot to check the, um, I forgot to check to make sure that everything's all closed up. What an idiot. Oh, man, I'm all in the mud. Damn it. Yeah, I think we should be good. Just make sure, oh, look, see? Good thing, look, good thing I checked, guys. Look at this, the cabinet. Oh, they got everything closed back here? Okay. See, I would've took off. There we go. Whew, and I'm, I'm glad, uh, I'm glad I uh, double checked that, guys, because I would've been driving down the freeway. Uh, and that hose and stuff would've fell right out of the back of the cabinet. I could've probably damaged a vehicle or hurt somebody, got pulled over, get a ticket. All right, <laughs> lesson learned just now, always make sure that your trailer is secure before you take off. All right, now we can get the heck up out of here. All right, we got a big truck coming. We gotta wait for this Peterbilt right here, KLLM. kind of hard for me to see I think now I can see around this corner I might be sitting here for a minute guys ah yeah no way I'm beating them 
Ain't no way I'm beating them cars. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and get on out of here. So I don't think it's this turn. I think it is the next. You got more power than me. Next, I think it's the next one. Yeah, turn wide open. I'm down on full. All right, let me turn my CB radio down here. Yep. So we're in Atchison, Kansas, which is literally the border between uh, Kansas and Missouri. Oh, and I'm keeping the heat, the in-transit heat, running on this because I'm going straight to the tank wash. Uh, anytime that you have a load that tells you you need to run heat, I always run heat even after I get unloaded, so that way nothing gets, uh, you know, nothing gets clogged up. And when we take it to the tank wash, it'll be easy and quick for them to clean. Because when that thick oil gets cold, it gets thick and chunky, and then they gotta steam it. After 1,000 feet, turn right towards Leavenworth. All right, so we're gonna have to bust a ride over here. Oh, it's a bump right there. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Now turn right. There we go. Follow the course of the road. So yeah, I'm gonna be taking some backcountry roads to get back over to the Springfield tank wash. Let's see what's the speed limit. Okay, speed limit's 40. All right. Yeah, man, back to uh, back to the Springfield tank wash we go. All right, back in Springfield, about to make this uh, second to last turn. I got to make a left here and then make a right down here, down the street. All right, we're gonna get this uh, trailer dropped. Make sure whenever you drop your trailer and your your in transit heat lines are hooked up, make sure you disconnect them before you finish getting out from underneath the trailer. Otherwise, you're gonna mess some crap up on the trailer and on your truck. Yeah, so after this, uh, I'm gonna get all my bags out of my truck. I gotta get, take my bedding out. I need to wash, I need to wash it dry like my bedding and my pillows and everything. So be a lot of laundry these next couple days at home, but get everything all nice and fresh and clean. Uh, and then tonight, uh, the daughter, wife, and myself, uh, we're gonna go to, go to Chili's and grab some grub. Uh, and then I think after Chili's, I think we're gonna go get some uh, get some ice cream and then uh, do a little re uh, relax and unwind at home. Oh, where's my badge? Swiper, swipey. Hey, swiper, no swiping. Woo, woo. All right. Oh, the other thing I gotta do is after I drop this, I gotta save the address for the next shipper and receiver in my uh, Garmin. So I have to set up my internet box real quick and put the addresses and save them, get them ready. Hey, look, it's a, it's a party over here. We got a party going on over here, a tanker party. Oh, these things are hot. Ah, ah. Oh yeah, these things are hot as fuck. Woo. All right. There we go. That should be good right there. I just gotta drop this landing gear down. All right, there we go. Oh yeah, let me go throw some trash out over here right quick. I'm gonna throw this trash out. Switch myself to off duty. <laughs> 